Hey everybody, I'm Tony Corbell from TeamBowens.com and thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for the questions. Thanks for the great support of our new blog at TeamBowens.com. Uh, it's really going well and the readership is getting bigger and bigger every week and every month and it's terrific. From time to time we'll answer your questions that are coming in to that site um, from f that come in more than once, two, three, four. We get the same question over and over on one topic. I want to address that here with a video. So that's what this is all about. So you'll see these videos, all, all the things that we're doing, the videos as well as our webinars, everything that we're doing we'll re that we're recording uh, will be posted here on our YouTube channel uh, at Bowens TV. Uh, so today, the question that I want to answer today is, uh, this came in from Jonathan in Lake Elsinore, California. Why don't we just use speed lights instead of going to all the trouble of the studio lighting products? Well, Jonathan, that's a great, it's a great question and there's not a simple answer, but there is a couple of different reasons that I choose to not use speed lights in the studio. I like speed lights on location from time to time, and they are appropriate for certain for certain jobs and for certain uh, certain photos that you really want to take. But in the studio, it's a little bit of a different thing. When you step into the world of studio photography, uh, you're almost, by definition, uh, introducing professionalism and professional work qualities. With speed lights, I lose a few things. Number one, I've got to use uh, adapted uh, tools, lighting tools, and light shaping devices to fit on that speed light head. Not very many things are available there, uh, not as much as I have certainly with my studio lighting in terms of light shaping. Uh, with all the wide, wide uh, array of products and, and tools and accessories available. Uh, second, I don't have the ability to have a modeling light that shows me, uh, that replicates to my eye while I'm shooting what my file is going to look like when I finish. That's a pretty important deal for me to be able to, what you see is what you get. Um, with speed lights, it's kind of a guess. Your, your placement is kind of a guess. Um, your sh highlights and shadow ratio is kind of a guess. Everything's a little bit of a guesswork. Um, and there's just something about that burst when a uh, speed light fires off on a client as when the studio lighting goes off. It has a different look. And then I think one of the things that's maybe more intangible, and that would be the professionalism and the way you relate to your clients. When your clients come in and you're using a speed light, they have a speed light in their camera bag in their car. Um, it's a little bit difficult to separate yourself and create that gap between you and the amateur photographer if you are now the pro. Um, and when you are doing studio looking work, that's what you're doing. When you're stepping in the studio, you're, you're the pro. So utilizing uh, lighting and equipment that is designed for that, I think is the right choice. Um, they don't have to be as expensive as you think. Uh, you might find a mid-range, price-range product of mono lights, for example, that with, like the Bowens that I'm using. I use mono lights all the time instead of pack generator sort of lights. Um, and they're very reasonably priced, uh, and you can find them in all budgets, basically. Um, but I do find that the light quality is terrific. I have much, much, much more control. I can see what I'm doing. I can pop off a softbox and put on a beauty dish or a grid spot in a heartbeat and I can keep moving and keep my session going and I look like a pro and my work looks professional and I think it's just about that control too so I hope that's helpful uh, speed lights will they work sure they give you a burst of speed you know uh, someone one time said all I need is for the light to get really bright when my lens is open <laughs> and so when you're in sync that's great um, but working with studio lights and design, lights that are designed for studio, I think, will separate you from, from the others. And I think it really will make a difference in your career. So thanks, everybody. Thanks for the great questions. A great question from Jonathan there. Thank you very much, Jonathan, for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time to write in. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying these blog posts that we're doing at TeamBowens.com. And again, feel free to regularly check in here at our YouTube channel, Bowens TV. Thanks, everybody. I'm Tony Corbell, and I hope to see you at one of the photo events somewhere around the country. Best wishes, and thanks again.